Okay. Uh, really, just uh, an incredible effort by both teams. Uh, exactly the way we described the game to our players, getting ready for this game. We, you know, we obviously, I do certainly have the utmost respect, and our team does for the University of Texas and our program, and the fact that so many guys on that bench that have been a huge part of my life, I'm thankful for. But proud of the effort. I mean, th these are the kind of games in the tournament you get bounced when you shoot as poorly as we did. And, uh, but we found a way with our defense. The 10 extra shots that we got uh, were obviously important to us, but to shoot the ball as poorly as we did and all we kept talking about during timeouts was keep taking our shots and we got to get it done on the defensive end. And again, they run some really good stuff. We felt if we did what we needed to do that they would end up going to their matchup zone and we got looks out of it, didn't convert it, but yet we kept our poise and they got really aggressive at there at the end trying to drive it downhill. But again, just really proud of our, again, proud of our team and the way they stayed with it on the night where we just struggled shooting the ball. Okay, questions first for uh, Dalton Tobey and uh, Jos Josiah Jordan. Josiah Jordan. Josiah, Josiah Jordan. Josiah. I'm sorry. All good. He told like, me three like times. Josiah. I still messed it up. <laughs> Ryan Sylvia, Rivals.com. Dalton, just what was that moment like at the end of the game, ball in your hands, kind of game on the line? Uh, I wanted the ball in my hands. I told Z that uh, when we were walking out of that timeout saying I want the ball in my hands and you know he had trusted me as well as the whole team had trusted me to despite my shooting performance today they had trusted me to go take those shots and I can't thank my teammates and coaching staff enough. Second row. Uh, Tobey that, that first half I know you got in some foul trouble but you, know, you scored eight quick points at a time when you know Tennessee was really struggling to score just you know, how, how big of a boost did you feel like that gave the team in the, in the first 20 minutes? Uh, I think it definitely gave us a boost. I think overall my mindset was just to play aggressive but composed. Obviously got into some foul trouble, but I think, I think it's just a credit to our guards um, finding me in the right place and making it easy for me to score. Right, Niall. Uh, any of you can kind of answer this, but I wanted to direct it to Dalton. You, I, I think after you hit that three, a little under six minutes left, it looked like you took this big sigh of relief, kind of shook your head, like, where has that been all, all game? What's it like when you're kind of going through? Your, I'm sure you felt not that different from a normal game, but when the shots aren't falling that way, how do you kind of manage that mentally? Um, I mean, I just said thank you finally. Uh, I seen one go down, but uh, I'm not really too focused on that because uh, scoring is, you know, it's all right, but you got to lock up on the other end, and that was what I was trying to focus on the most when my shots weren't falling and trying to do the little things that uh, could impact the game, like rebounding and stuff like that, send screens. Other questions for the student athletes? Front left. Tobey, I know Coach Barnes, usually when you get two fouls, you're done for the half. Were you surprised to go back in? Yeah, I asked him for another chance. Uh, I thought I got that second one. He put me back in. I don't think he realized I had a second one. Um, obviously picked up that third, unfortunately, but I think it's just a testament to the trust I'm starting the game. Other questions for student athletes? Next one, third row. Yeah. Dalton, anything defensively that they were doing differently to you? It looked like you maybe didn't get as many touches early on. Or was that just the way the game went, or were they doing something to deny you that much? Um, they were just playing uh, physical defense. They were just running me off my uh, screens and stuff and hedging the <coughs> balls, making uh, ball screens and making everything just super tough for me, contesting my shots. They played great team defense. They were in the gaps and, you know, uh, just get ready to go watch film with coach and just learn from it, learn to be that much better and, you know, just get better. Second round. Josiah, you, hit, you hadn't hit a three in a couple of games. I don't even think you took one Thursday. And for you to raise up and hit that one it was a huge shot with just started three minutes left. I mean, what's going through your mind? What's your confidence level like as a player to take that shot in that situation? Yeah, my confidence level, uh, first and foremost, it comes from the work that I put in. You know, each and every guy here, we believe that we're the hardest working team in the country. And so we get in situations like that. You know, you just got to rely on your work. And then obviously, uh, my confidence comes from my coaches and my teammates. Every time out, every huddle, they're telling everybody to be aggressive, stay confident. And so it just goes back to my work and obviously my teammates.
Rick Butler, Rocky Top Insider. Josiah, Zakai didn't come off the floor tonight, played 40 minutes. Just what does that say about his passion and his will to win as you go through the tournament? Yeah, there was one point, I don't know if it was in the first half or the second half, coach asked him, like, I was on the bench and coach was like, are you good? And Zakai looked at him kind of crazy, like, yeah, of course I'm good. Like, why would you even ask me something like that? Um, but. Like, he, he's just a superhero. Like, we obviously wouldn't be in this, situ in this position without his leadership, his aggressiveness. Um, he's, you know, the, the engine that unites us. And, you know, we thrive off of him. And, you know, for him to play 40 minutes in a situation like this, I don't think he would want to have it any other way. Um, and, you know, that's just a testament to how tough he is. We'll take one more question for the student athlete. Back row. Uh, Ed Sutton, Sporting News uh, for Dalton. Uh, a few days ago, you were saying that you were just kind of trying to take in the experience of playing in the NCAA tournament. Now that you've had two games, you're, you and Tennessee are looking to, to snap a streak of, you know, not, not making it to the Elite Eight. What, how have you kind of felt you've adjusted to playing in these games? And, you know, what have you learned from these first two that you think can help carry over to the next few? Um, just be a lot more physical. Uh, you know, it's a grown man's game, uh, you know. Just be ready to go out and take the first or give the first hit, and um, just keep learning uh, f and film with Coach Barnes and the rest of the coaching staff, and as well as just uh, just going out there and competing with my teammates is just you know we just going out there hooping and stuff. Okay, guys, thanks. You can head back to the locker room. I know there'll be.